During our many months of non-communication, I became deeply depressed and realized how important he was to me. My marriage did not improve. Welcome back to They Did What, your source for the internet's craziest, most entertaining stories where I go over them, analyze them, and most certainly make fun of them. Today, I'm going to go over a karma story titled, I had an affair, now I have a broken heart. And guys, this story is about a woman, she's 33 years old, she's been married to her husband for nearly five years, and for whatever reason possessed her mind, she began to have an affair with another dude. And as you can imagine, things didn't go too well. And so eventually they parted ways, I'm not going to give the reason why, but eventually she started missing him. She, she initially wanted to repair things with her husband thinking that was easy because obviously she did the cheating so no big deal there it should be easy right and she started missing the guy that she was having the affair with and again you're going to see it started up with him again but then you're going to see she gets a taste of her own medicine <clears throat> because as the saying goes once a cheater always a cheater and people that are cheaters tend to also cheat on sometimes other cheaters and now she's having a little bit of a meltdown breaking down because simply things didn't work out the way she thought they should very good karma story here, and you'll find more, very entertaining. Now, again, I didn't reveal too much. I'm trying not to reveal too much in the beginning, and you'll see in real time as I go over it. <clears throat> so it starts off, she says here, I, a 33-year-old female, have been married to my husband for almost five years. About a year and a half ago, I sought out an affair partner online. I have a lot of reasons why, but none of them are good. The man I met was also married and in a similar situation. At the time, I had no intention of becoming attached to this person or leaving my marriage. So, she said, for a lot of reasons, things weren't going well in her marriage. Well, that's usually a good idea to try to work on them, okay? Or break up. Try to have communication with the husband, whatever that may be, or break up. Or, she's completely full of crap and using that as an excuse to cover up her cheating. You know, always blaming the husband. It's always his fault. He's the reason I cheated. I'm a perfect angel. I wouldn't have done so otherwise. He's the reason. She goes on. The affair started off hot and heavy. There was an intense S-word chemistry between us as well as a deep emotional bond that started us to form. He told me he was in love with me fairly early on. About three months into the affair, his wife discovered it because, like an idiot, he had photos of me all over his computer and was using a photo of the two of us as his des desktop background. What a moron, unless he wanted to get caught. His wife confronted him but wanted to reconcile. He declined, told her he was in love with me, moved out, and started his divorce proceedings. He asked me to leave my husband, and I told him that I was not something I was willing to do right now. I told my husband of the affair. He opted to continue our marriage. Smack. Smack to that husband. And honestly, smack to that dude's wife who wanted to stay with him. So you got two cheaters that are with two people that are foolish enough to think they can continue on the marriage. At least the dude she was cheating with had the good sense to end the marriage. At least that he should have ended it before. But at least he ended it. And that, that wife now has another opportunity. Because from what it sounds like, supposedly, she wasn't cheating on him. He was just a douchebag. But this gal here, the second he, he's, I'm in love with you and want, to, want, to, want you to leave your husband, she's like, nope, never mind. There, all she was there was for the D. She was there for the sausage and the sneaking around and the excitement and all that. And now she wants to reconcile and, and work things out with her husband, which is easy for her because she was the one cheating. She was the one getting her heart broken. She was cheating on her husband, breaking his heart. And this bonehead goes along with this. Never, ever accept this, guys. You, you relationship guy, she cheats on you, end it. Walk away. Because they don't stop. <clears throat> After this, I stopped talking to my affair partner. I want him to heal and to move on. I only wanted to try to work on my marriage. During our many months of non-communication, I became deeply depressed and realized how important he was to me. My marriage did not improve. There's a shocker. Obviously, that she didn't handle things right the first time around. That's why she started cheating and thinking that things could work a second time around. Doesn't work that way. She probably, what probably was the biggest attraction to her to this guy was just the unpredictability, never knowing when he's going to call or text or show up or when she's going to see him. And now she doesn't get to see him, and the distance is causing her to rekindle the feelings and miss him. And of course, nothing changed with the husband, so of course she's going to go right back and do the same thing all over again. That She should have cut, cut ties and broken up, gotten a divorce, given her husband 
a chance, but she's selfish. She wants to have her cake and eat it too. But don't worry, karma will come for her as they always do, or at least most of the time. My marriage did not improve and I began to feel trapped. I don't want to make excuses. I just want to explain this well. I did not reach out to him because I was not because I was trying to not interfere with his life. However, several months ago, he reached out to me and told me that he had never moved on, never stopped thinking about me, loved me, and wanted to be in contact again. Things rekindled quickly, and with my newfound perspective, I fell deeply in love with him. This woman is a flake. She is a freaking, she's like a roller coaster with these emotions. But then again, that's what they all are like. Keep that in mind, guys, you dating relationship guys. Last month, I found out he had a girlfriend. He accidentally sent me a text for her to, to me. When I asked him about this, he said it was a casual relationship. They needed something to fill the void while he waited for me to decide what I wanted to do with my life. He called her an outlet. While I was upset he had not told me, I understood his position, and I was still married, and, and our contact was sporadic. I didn't owe him anything. He was a single man and was free to live his life, life how he wanted I don't want to hear that she wasn't upset about that, please. Of course this guy's going to find another chick. That's how it works. This guy probably had a ch another chick while he was with her while he was married. That's how Chad and Tyrone roll. The bad boys always have options. This is why it makes them the bad boys the bad boys. And they don't give a shit. And sure, she said he contacted her saying he was in love with everything. Probably because she rejected him. You know, cut things off and all that. So probably had him coming after her. But don't think he's going to just sit around waiting by the phone for her to call. Oh no, he's going to have an option. And uh, too bad for her if she doesn't like it too much. But then two weeks later, he revealed that his woman was actually his girlfriend of over one year. Huh. Bad boy's lying. Imagine that. He actually met and began dating her two months after our affair, and his marriage ended. He continued to assure me that he was not in love with her. He was in love with me. He wanted me, and he would have zero issues leaving her should I finally decide to leave my husband. This woman should leave her husband anyway because obviously she's not in love with him and she's cheating and all that. I mean, on the one hand, I feel bad for her husband, but on the other hand, he took her back. But he, but you guarantee she was just knew exactly what to say to him, exactly what strings to pull to get him to give her another chance. She wants to have her cake and eat it too. You got two selfish assholes in the situation, which is pretty funny. And ultimately, you're going to see which selfish asshole comes out on top. This past weekend, we had a very rare opportunity to spend the night together. A rare opportunity? You mean your husband went to church or something? Or your husband went to see his family and that was the, the rare opportunity they had to get together? I was visiting someone in another state and staying in a hotel. He met me at the hotel and we had an incredible night together. He talked about our future, how badly he wanted me to be his wife, how much he loved me. When he left that morning, I was a complete wreck. I realized I need to make a, make a decision very quickly about what to do with my marriage and this man because I couldn't continue to continue both. Shortly after he left, I texted him that I had made up my decision and would leave my husband for him. Yeah, let's see how this goes when she leaves her husband, a good man, for the bad boy. Unexpectedly, or perhaps I'm just being very naive, he freaked out, like complete meltdown style. We had a huge fight where he eventually told me that he couldn't leave his girlfriend. He insisted that he hadn't been leading me on, but hadn't realized until the, the choice was right in front of him that I wasn't worth the risk of the happiness he currently had with her. This is hilarious. This is exactly what she deserves. She's a piece of shit for not only cheating on her husband the first time, but obviously the second time around. And, and we don't know what was going on behind the scenes with her husband earlier. You know, I, I have a very hard time believing that this was a, this is the first time she's ever stepped out on her guy. No way. Now she's getting a taste of her own medicine. That was three days ago. I barely eaten, barely slept. Uh, did I did I have this coming? Yes, absolutely. Does it make it hurt any less? No. I still haven't decided what to do with myself. I could barely breathe when he told me that he didn't want to be with me. Oh, poor little cheater. I'm aware that being with someone who had previously cheated on his wife and then lied about having a girlfriend, this shouldn't have been surprising. Duh. But it was. I would felt that while he and I were liars to the rest of the world, we had a safe haven between us where we could be ourselves. I can't talk about this to anyone for obvious reasons, but I just need to get this off my chest and out there into the world. Boo freaking who. So 
as the saying goes, there's no uh, no honor among th- amongst thieves. Kind of the same si- situation going here. She got exactly what she deserves, okay? And this guy, he's a pro cheater. End of story. This guy shouldn't be any kind of serious relationship with anyone. And it's interesting. The second she expressed, okay, I'm ready to leave my husband, this guy's like, never mind. Forget it. That's the kind of crap. That, that That's what she did to him. Remember in the beginning? He was going to divorce his wife, okay? And she's like, nope, never mind. I want to stay with my husband. I want to make things work. Now he's doing it to her. Whether he's doing it on purpose, hey, flip a coin, you never know, or that's just how things developed, too bad on her. And now, guaranteed, and, and that's the end of this thing. I'm going to, before I get into some comments here, people are tearing her a new one, but uh, mark my word, she'll probably go right back to her husband, either probably not even tell him what was going on and, and claim that I'm now going to work on things. And he's such a good man. I love him so much. Until the next dude comes around, she cheats on him. Or this guy reaches out to her in six months. But this is why I say, guys, all the time, and I keep doubling and tripling down on this, once a cheater was a cheater, you end it, end the story, because they're not going to stop. Okay? They, it, it, that, and it isn't just about for the gals getting the sausage. It's also about the attention and validation from the dude, the unpredictability, never know when he's going to show up, when he's going to call, how he feels, who he's with, the the butterflies. They always talk about the butterflies. That's it. That's, that's a big part of this whole thing. So few comments here from the peanut gallery. One guy says, and this is a little longer, but it's good. He says, the sad part of, this, of all this, outside of how badly you've been disrespected, you, how you disrespected your husband, is how delusional you are. Reading this train wreck was mind-numbing. You actually thought you were in love with him and he with you. No glue, uh, no glue at all that affairs are fantasy land. Of, of course, it's great pursuing and being pursued and then having SCX and then going back home. You never live day-to-day with a person. It's always a fantasy land. You never see the dirty underwear or how they chew their mouth open. Uh, you only see the best foot forward stuff. Eventually, if you ever did get together, what do you think things would be like in four to five years? Anyway, yeah, in four to five years, you'd probably cheat on him. I'll tell you, he'd be running around on you with someone else. Only thing is, I hope now, is you have the decency to tell your husband and and he divorces you, but you won't tell him. You're too damn selfish to do that, and you won't be in control of the outcome of you if you did. Correct. Exactly. She probably won't tell her husband. She'll just keep it quiet and think that she can fix things. Or if she'll tell him, she'll just give him a whole little BS and be right back to the way things were. Another guy says here, if your husband is still in your life right now, you better start worshiping the ground he walks on because good men that will st- stand with you through these kind of faults and mistakes are a rarity. No, this is not a fault or a mistake. This is well planned on her part. Okay, A fault or a mistake is forgetting to pay the electric bill and you come home and the, the power shut off. Okay, That's a mistake. This is well planned. If he's willing to stand by you after you decided to throw everything away and cheat, you better thank God for him every day. No, this guy's a fool. She needs to end it with her guy, even if it hurts him, and then move on. That's the, that's the decent thing at this point. And she responded to this comment saying, To be fair, there are multiple problems in our relationship that existed before the cheating. Was the cheating horrible? Yes, of course. But there's a reason he has been eager to stay with me regardless. So put it on him. He, The husband's the reason that I cheated. The husband's the reason I keep doing this. It's not my fault. No, 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 no. See? And notice she didn't mention any of that in the entire thing. She must have a little something in the beginning, but didn't elaborate. She didn't say he was a cheater or anything like that. But just, just a little thing. Oh, you know, there were things going on. Sure. We've heard this song and dance before. But anyhow, she got what she deserved. That's karma. That's payback. And I think, that, I think that's well-deserved that she gets that. So, guys... Once a cheater, always a cheater. Your relationship guy, break up with them. End of story. But you, sadly, you got to keep your eyes open, and you got a whole world of these types. But it's pretty funny always when karma comes back to bite these a holes in the butt. You know, <clears throat> as the saying goes, "What goes around comes around." All right, guys, that's it for today. It's a quick one. Be sure to comment down below and what you think about this. And guys, you come across a really good story you'd like to share, by all means, email it to me, strongsuccessfulmail at gmail.com, and I'll definitely cover it down the road. Or if it's a really good article or story, same difference, just be sure to include the link. And be sure to like the video, share it with your friends, and subscribe. And I'll catch you next time.